Today I'm going to tell you about how I built basically eight streams of income before I was 30. We're going to go over each one of those streams of income and I'm going to show you how you can do the same thing. But before we can even get into any of that, we first have to address the most important thing, which is why passive income is so important. Just from a practical financial standpoint, you don't know what's going to happen. And if you have multiple streams of income, then what's going to happen is that you have that safety against those events occurring and there's nothing that can truly wipe you out. It is a lot easier to sleep at night when you have multiple streams of income. So let's go over the income streams that I have and then I want to give you some some steps you can take, some practical advice on how you can actually develop these income streams. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you how to do that and where you can go to find that out after we go through all this. So the very first one that I have here is my job. I started off as a software developer and I was that for most of my career and I had various jobs, contract jobs, full-time jobs. So that's a pretty basic, simple one. And that did well for me. I'd made a lot of money. There were times where I was making over $200,000 as a software developer. And there were times when I was making under $40,000 or $50,000 around that amount. But having multiple income streams allowed me to not just pick a job based on how much money I was making, but based on what I wanted to do at the time, which is very powerful as well. The next one is real estate. This has been a critical and important one in my life. I bought my first house when I was 19 years old, not because I was super smart, not because I had money. I didn't have any money. I literally figured out a way to buy the $68,000 shack. I'm not gonna go into the details of that story, but the, the point being is that real estate was a, a great solid investment for generating passive income. Right now, I generate over $15,000 a month of passive income net in real estate, in their real estate purchases that I've made and investments that I've made over the last 20 years. At one point I was buying one property every year. That sounds a little crazy, but it's totally not crazy. I have a group of guys right now in my Well That Never Runs Dry program that are doing that. They're working on that and they're being successful at it as well as many of my coaching clients. So it is something that is possible to do, but we're not gonna go into the details of that right now. The next one is from book royalties. So I've published books, I've traditionally published books with a publisher and I've gotten royalties from those books. I've made quite a bit of money on some of the successful books where they're paying me a royalty on that book. The fourth one I've had is course royalties. At one time I was a huge course author that made a lot of courses for a company called Pluralsight. And you may have heard of things like LinkedIn Learning, Udemy, places like that where they pay you a royalty when people watch your courses, various models for this. But I made a lot of money doing that, creating these courses while I was working my full-time job. And I still get passive income from that. And the next one that I have here is from apps. So I developed an Android app and an iOS app. And I haven't made a huge amount of money from those, but there was a point where I was making a few hundred dollars a month of passive income just from those apps. Since then, I've turned off the apps because I haven't updated them, but it's a source that I could also do again if I wanted to, but I had money coming in from building those apps. And again, you don't necessarily have to be a programmer to build apps. You can hire someone to build apps and put them out there if you have an idea. The next one was freelance work. So at one point, Again, I had my job, I had real estate income, I had book royalties, I had the course royalties, apps, apps income coming in, and I was doing freelance work at, this, at the same time. I would do just a little bit, maybe five, 10 hours a week of freelance work. I had a blog out there called Simple Program, which I still own, and people would contact me and they would ask me if I would do some work for them, and I build as much as 300 bucks an hour once I really start to get a lot of demand for that, but I would do that on a part-time basis. So that was yet another income stream for me. The next one is coaching. That is an income stream that I currently have. People pay me to do one-on-one -on -one coaching for them. My coaching is extremely expensive. It is $1,500 for a month, which is basically an hour Skype call and unlimited email support. Not a lot of people can afford that, but the people that do afford that benefit from that because I'm helping them to improve themselves and, and grow themselves. If you're in a position where you feel like you could use some one-on-one -on -one help, which we all can at, at times. I have coaches of my own. There's a link down below also where you can sign up for the coaching and check that out. But that is a very good income stream. I don't like that income stream as much, again, just like freelance work because it's not totally passive because I have to do the calls, even if I'm getting paid a lot to do that. So it is something that I may eliminate in the future, but again, it's nice to have that as another income stream that, that I have going on. And then probably the most recognizable one is my business income from both 
my simple programmer company and my bulldog mindset company. So in the business income, I would make money from affiliate deals. So if I promote something, for example, right now I have a skincare company that, that I use, Tish Hanley, and it is really good skincare and I have it in my Bulldog Mindset membership. I've done some videos on it and I'll get a commission on that. If I have someone sign up for Bluehost, a hosting provider, if you want to start a website, again, I get a commission on that. So that was one of the ways that I generated income from the business and I still do is from affiliate. Another way is from advertising. So when you have a large blog or YouTube channel, you can get people to pay you to advertise just for ad space on your site or on your YouTube channel. So that is another way. And then the third way is through course sales or membership sales as well. So selling a digital product, selling something online right now, add the Bulldog Mindset membership. So if you click down below, you can join for the first month for $7. You can see how I do all this stuff and you know what I'm talking about here, but that generates me income. I was selling courses on Simple Programmer. I still sell courses there. At that time, that's why I was making money from there. And that is another source of income. So you can see here again, what are all the sources there? We've got job income, book royalties, course royalties, apps, freelance work, coaching, and then business income. And the business income is diversified. So that's eight income streams before I was 30 years old. So you can imagine that all it takes is one of those streams to really generate a lot of revenue for you to increase the chances of you becoming wealthy. So this is another reason why it's important. But those are some of the things that I did and you can do each one of those things as well. So the next thing I wanna talk to you about real quick is some next steps. And what are the next steps that you can do now that you've heard about my income streams that I had generated? So the, the very first thing that you can do is to try to add one new income stream. So let's say that your income stream is just your job. I just gave you a bunch of ideas. What could you do? You could start investing in real estate, generating some real estate income. Can you write a book? You probably could write a book on, on some kind of subject. You could generate royalties, you know, book income, courses. Everyone has some kind of skill. You could generate income from that. What about freelance work? That you can go out and you could probably freelance whatever you're doing for your regular job. It might be hard to get some customers, but I bet if you go through your network, you can find at least one of them. Now, all you're gonna do is start with one. What about coaching? Could you coach someone? Is there something that you could coach about? Probably. Uh, business, can you start a business? Do you have a side business that idea that you could start? Again, if you want a lot of help with that, I help guys to start side businesses and, and make enough money. It wouldn't be awesome to have enough money to pay your mortgage for free every month or your rent. That's certainly achievable. It's super easy to achieve if you're willing to put in the work. Again, check out the Bulldog Mindset membership to get some more info on that. And then the final thing I wanna give you, you guys is, is something that I think will help you because again, this is a short video. I'm trying to keep this as short as possible because I don't wanna bore you with a several hour long video and I don't have the time to do that, frankly. But I did put together a passive income masterclass. I think it's like a four hour live workshop that I did with members of the Bulldog Mindset community. And I, I went through all the income streams, how to generate these income streams, how to build passive income, because most of you are really after passive income. Click link down below. Also, you can find that in the description, passive income masterclass. And if you sign up for that, then you'll get access to that. I'm gonna leave it open for a few days here when this video goes live and you can join that, but it's got a ton of information on how to build passive income and all kinds of income streams. So again, this is a real quick video going over just the income streams because I know a lot of you guys are curious about that. But if you want some in-depth knowledge, I definitely encourage you to check out that passive income masterclass. I think that'll give you a ton of ideas of how you can start building income streams. But your next step right now is just to figure out one. And again, use that passive income masterclass if you want to, use the Bulldog Mindset membership if you want to figure out what that next income stream is. But once you start adding them, then you'll start to see how easy it is. You start to think differently. When you only have your income stream as your job, it, it, it becomes really difficult. You, you, don't, you can't even think outside the box. So your very first step is add one new income stream.